welcome to The Daily English Show. Today I'd like to talk about this question, how was your weekend? I often ask people questions like this at the start of a lesson, just for a bit of small talk to get into the lesson. How was your weekend? How was your week? How was your day? And I've found that a lot of students launch into the details of what they did on the weekend as if they have to, even if they don't want to because I asked that question. But if someone asks you that question, you don't have to say what you did. You can if you want, and I'd be interested to hear what you did if you want to tell me, but it's certainly not expected, and it's absolutely fine if you don't. I think the main point of saying, how was your weekend, is to communicate that you care about that person, and you want to continue to have a good relationship with them. So if you don't want to talk about your weekend or you didn't do anything interesting, maybe you just watched TV and did laundry, then you could just say something like, hmm, not too bad, how about you? And the conversation will naturally move on to something else. If you did something exciting and you want to talk about it, then you can answer, great. And if they're interested, they'll ask, yeah, what did you do? And if you had a really bad weekend and you want to share it, because it's good to talk about your problems sometimes, if it's appropriate, of course, then you could answer something like, mm, not so good, or, well, I've had better weekends. And then if they're concerned, they might ask, oh really, what happened? The site I recommend today is urbandictionary.com. This site is an excellent place to look up slang. I use it a lot to look up slang words that I see on the internet and I can't understand. Sometimes people will leave comments about me like, she is, and I'll be like, hmm, that sounds pretty rude, but I wonder what it means. And I'll look it up and it turns out it's actually a compliment. The Urban Dictionary has humorous entries too like the top entry for interesting, adjective, something which arouses no interest at all, used to politely avoiding admitting this, which indirectly expresses your indifference. Yes, your bottle cap collection is interesting. And this is the top entry for English, a language that lurks in dark alleys, beats up other languages, and rifles through their pockets for spare vocabulary. Kia ora and stick news today. Designers in the UK have created a washing machine that uses only one cup of water. A team at Leeds University in the UK has invented a washing machine that cleans clothes by pounding them with plastic chips. The Independent reported the machine uses less than 2% of the water and energy of a conventional washing machine. The machine uses thousands of reusable plastic chips to remove and absorb dirt. About 20 kilograms of the chips are used with a cup of water and detergent. The chips can be used up to 100 times. The professor who invented the machine said its performance was astonishing. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 11th of June. Kia ora. Today's word is lurk. To wait somewhere secretly, especially because you're going to do something bad or illegal. Not too bad. How was yours? Where did you go? Can you take bikes on the bus? Wow, that's cheap. What a great service. Hello. How was your weekend? Pretty good. I went for a bike ride yesterday. I took the bus up the mountain and then rode all the way down. Yeah, the city's just started doing it this summer. It's awesome and it only costs 100 yen. Yeah, it is. Something that's never used anymore, because nowadays people are stupid. A. Book B. Computer C. Grammar 
D. Wikipedia E. YouTube Grammar Yet another way to waste time at work. YouTube The most useful and most frustrating thing any human being will ever work with. Computer An object used as a coaster to increase the height of small children or to increase the stability of poorly built furniture. Book. The place where you go when the word you're looking for is too sophisticated to be found on Urban Dictionary. Wikipedia. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.